Okay, um, hi everyone. Uh, today I'm doing a little uh, army planning video. Um, so in my last video about hobby goals, I thought I wanted to do some um, Kings of War, um, the Abyssal Dwarves, but uh, unfortunately uh, the price for me to get Kings of War, Mantic Kings of War stuff in Turkey um, imported is about the same as if I just buy Games Workshop stuff here from uh, one of the Turkish uh, retailers. So um, I am think I'm going to slowly start trying to put together a uh, Age of Sigmar Lumineth army. Uh, these guys are kind of have grown on me a bit. I didn't really like them at first, but um, when they first released them, but after looking at like the basic troops, I uh, have started to kind of appreciate them a little bit more. Um, they're pretty busy, but I've I like I like their look of the high elves. And the other thing too is, I know um, you know I can probably you know cut down on some of this extra stuff if I want to. Um, and, um, you know, I've, I've always kind of liked, uh, the elves in fantasy. I think they're pretty cool, uh, in general. Um, like I always liked the elves in the Lord of the Rings movies as a kid and those cool, like swords that they had, uh, anyway. So what I'm thinking of doing, uh, is putting, starting with Lumineth, um, and um, and then you know building it up slowly so either getting this vanguard set just to have kind of some basic troops um, and this seems like it gives you the spearmen archers uh, looks like an elite unit uh, I, I'm assuming the that's the the HQ, um, or maybe that guy is. Uh, of course, it's GW, so uh, important characters get uh, rocks uh, anyway. So let's see. It looks like we get one Sinari Kalathar. Um, oh, okay, so this is so she must be the headquarters. You get Blade Lords and then these. Um, and then that guy must be the leader for the Spearmen. Um, yeah, so I think this seems pretty good. My other option is um, possibly saving my money to get this box set, which looks like a pretty good deal. And um, normally I'm not super into the chaos stuff, but uh, the these guys look really good. I'll show them in more detail in a minute. But I saw online I did a it had a points breakdown, um, and it's like you get around 600 points of both sides, which is pretty good, um, especially for a GW box. It gives you two basically small playable armies, always nice. And this one includes the cavalry. Uh, archers, you get some elites, and then a uh, wizard woman to lead, and then same thing, similar thing on the Zinch Chaos side. Um, go look at them, look at the um, Chaos. So I don't normally like, like I said, I'm not super into the Chaos stuff. Um, Especially Zinch, it's always just a little too weird for me. Uh, but the like this stuff is kind of too much for me. But uh, I do like the let's see, go go to the next page. Uh, I do like these guys, just like the regular cultists. I think that they are they're really kind of a cool design. Um, they're definitely weird and chaos, but without going too overboard um so that's kind of what got me interested and then the headquarters this box set i don't know if you can get it separately let's see um is kind of neat 
Um, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Cursling Eye of Zinch. Pretty cool, kind of a mutant sorcerer kind of character. Um, yeah, a little weirder than I normally go for, but I, I think that's a nice looking model. Um, also doesn't go too, like, it's not overly busy. Um, and it could be a nice challenge for me to paint him. Um, so that's what I'm thinking, but uh, the other thing too is if I go with the Zinch guys, I think I should be able to um, get some Chaos Warriors down the line and include them in the army. Um, because I, as far as I know, I haven't played Age of Sigmar since, well, since I've been in the U.S. basically, but as far as I know, I think you can play um, the the um, Chaos as like a Grand Alliance, because I've played the last Age of Sigmar game I played, I had my, um, the, uh, the, the Sky Dwarves and my regular Dwarves as like one army, as like a Grand Alliance order. Um, so, uh, $140, not giving this stuff away. Um, but that would be my idea for the Chaos, but I think overall I'm going to, because I do like these Chaos Warriors, I think they're pretty cool. Um, but overall I'm going to focus on the uh, Lumineth, I think, uh, and make some, make a elf army for Age of Sigmar. Let me go back to the Lumineth. Um, and the nice thing about Sigmar is I could probably, if the rules haven't changed, I could probably run, I could probably use my elves or my dwarves that I have uh, at home eventually uh, with the elves and, you know, have like a combined army. Uh, these are newer. I haven't seen these. These are pretty cool. Um, mounted archers on, looks like some kind of dinosaur, I guess. I don't know. Huh. Um, but yeah, I like these. Um, like that's a neat wizard. Um, I think the thing that I, the unit I saw originally that kind of put me off the, the Lumineth was, um, these guys, because I just, I didn't really like the horns on top. I thought that was kind of weird. Been saying weird a lot in this video, um, but now I I kind of I kind of they've grown on me I think um, I might be able to just not have that horn headdress thing on them uh, at all. So, but overall, um, you know, basic troops uh, and characters I I I kind of like. Um, Yeah, and the cavalry, cavalry is pretty cool. Um, I think they're pretty good designs in the cavalry. The horse poses are a little odd, but anyway, um, yeah, I like the cavalry. Also, the other thing about these Games Workshop uh, models with the art, the way they do the detail on the armor, is it makes them a lot easier to paint than medieval stuff. Um, so yeah, that's my idea for Fantasy Army. Uh, I just wanted kind of a break from historicals and, um, you know, thinking about this stuff helps me kind of de-stress a little bit because um, my, uh, you know, getting an academic career is really, really hard now. It's, I mean, it's been difficult in the past, so I'm kind of having a lot of real life pressure that, um, is not so fun. Um, yeah, so I'm, I, I think, yeah, I think doing some elves for Sigmar could be fun. Also, be nice to make an army for, you know, game system people actually are playing. 
um, because as much as I love this historical stuff, it's just really hard to find uh, people to play with a lot of the time, uh, not just since I've been abroad, but also in the U.S. And uh, yeah, I like these guys, the Blade Guard, they're pretty neat. I think for, I'm, I, I like this red and gold pattern for the Lumineth, that's pretty nice. But this is also cool too, the, the teal kind of look. Um, you know, the, the, but the blue and white is also really cool. Um, you know, but white is challenging to paint to say the least. Um, okay, uh, so that's, uh, I'm going to wrap this, start wrap, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, wrap this, uh, video up. Um, if you know anything about the Sigmar rules, the, as they currently stand, uh, if it's possible to, uh, play, like, Zinch and Chaos Warriors as, as in one army, uh, let me know. Uh, that'd be pretty helpful. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, should have another hobby video soon. I've been doing more work on the um, on these uh, uh, by fire and sword uh, Turks. So um, and and I'm painting more Romans. So I'll uh, do a video about that soon. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks.